madman. It's time for a new mode again. Well, I mean, it's been a while. <laughs> I joked about this on Arena 2, but it's duels. There's new stuff on duels. Does Paladin not suck anymore? I actually don't even know. Let's try. Oh, right. It's the one of modest aspirations. Oh, no. Paladin still sucks. Oh, no. I think this requires a very different build. Yeah, we got a lot of different treasures. Favored racers. Cast one random blessing on this minion. Improves during run. Not bad. Humble blessings. Change the attack, health, and cost of all your minions to three for the rest of the game. Pretty sure that doesn't go well with modest aspirations. Or maybe it does. Sue Leadfoot. After you summon a minion, it gains divine shield and rush. Meh. I think I just play this card because it's insane. Good card on curve. I think I have a tempo deck. Something like that. Let's try it out. And here's what I came up with in my duels deck. Uh, I originally had some bigger cards, but then more and more as I realized, I was like, okay, I actually need to flatten the curve here. I need to really make it so that the curve tops off at the treasure favored racer, as well as a rally. And then there's one cost, two cost, and three cost here. Rally is actually looking like it could be pretty good as a topper. There's a bunch of Death Rattles and Divine Shield guys because those synergize well with my two mana, make something a 3-3 power. So it's good on my small guys, it's good on their big guys. Uh, hopefully this works out. Okay, that looks like a really good hand. I actually don't know what that Hero Power does off the top of my head. This is like a late game card. Summon a 0-1 Void Fiend. Be quick. And two mana 0-1. Lamau. I'm gonna save that in my hand for the goody two shields. This always is the turn one. Turn one through three. It's good. Deal one health from the enemy hero. I'm pretty sure I can let that live. The light protects me. Oh, not even demons. Two mana, zero, two. Ha ha ha. Oh. Rush Wind Fury. Nah, I probably should play this. I, fight. I never have to figure out what's in the first day at school. Because, I mean, I really doubt it's better than my hand. <laughs> it's worse than the basic totem. Lol, 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 lol. I'm glad you guys didn't make me choose Priest. Two random secrets. That helps me stay alive, I think. It's probably the way to go. First spell, it costs one less. Do I have any spells in this deck? No. Basically, no. Not very many. Okay, I got the Blessing of Authorita that I was thinking about putting in the deck. The Potion of Heroism. Lanessa. Cast each spell you cast on your minions this game on this one. The group of learning is Murlocs. Why is the group learning Murlocs? <laughs> Why? Does anyone want to tell me where this is learning from? Is it because I have Crab Rider in my deck? It just decided to take... Oh, hey, you have Crab Rider in deck. You probably are a Murloc deck. Like, maybe that was some bad RNG. Is that how it works? Maybe it, like, randomizes... Okay, we're gonna randomly pick a card from, the, from your deck and then see, okay, what cards does that card typically get run with? 
And it's like it picked the crab rider for me. Like seeing the group learning bucket here makes me think that's how it works. Cast each spell you cast on your minion. Ah, if only that worked with favored races. Cast one random blessing on this minion. Cast each spell you cast on your minions. Yeah, anyways, I'll go blessings. I'm not happy about it. But there's a blessing about Thor there, and I thought about putting it in my deck, I guess. Hmm, turn one crab rider, turn two hero power the crab rider? Is that good? If I was going to do that, why wouldn't I just play boar? Oh right, why wouldn't I just play hawk? Well because, yeah that's fine. It's because this thing has four health, it'll probably survive. Alright well, uh, found a better plan. Oh, two mage secrets! Alright. I'm sorry, Druid. The game was rigged. Nothing scares me. Except mice. The light. Your tour ends here. I should actually play first day. I could actually get something that I would play. Uh, possessed a villager. So do I want to use the coin to play something now? When would I use the coin? I think I'm, it's not worth the coin to get one extra one attack guy on the board, basically. But I don't actually know when I'm going to use the coin. The 3 4 is a really good stat line against my stuff. I think I'll try this. Because basically, what's missing is dealing one damage. It feels weird, but I think it's right. Heart. Six. Brutal. I bleed for the third. Flexible hero power. It buffs. It debuffs. I will break your body. I kind of wanted to save this until I had even more Divine Shields in play, but I guess I'll just do this. Don't have lethal. Let's see what happens. That's pretty good. I didn't even know that was a blessing. Six, seven, eight. That kind of fills out the late game curve, I guess. Maybe the ooze champion after all, it's still early enough. Maybe the care- no, no. That's just dumb. 
I'll take this. Turn one, egg. Turn two, hero power. Turn three, question mark. Do I want to keep ooze against the warrior? I actually don't think I need to. Like, I would ooze the sword eater? That's about it that I can think about. I kind of feel like just drawing more stuff. It feels strange to mulligan ooze against warrior, but I think it's right. At the end of your turn, shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck if you have any armor. So obviously I need to keep aggressive. I think I just start off with as aggressive an opening as possible. That would be Worgen Squire, I guess? Yeah. If I think of the modest aspirations as 2-2 two -two worth of stats, then anything I can play that's more than 2-2, two -two, I should do first. With, I guess, that as an exception. The tour guide. That's the best card in this deck. Probably the best card in a lot of hero-based decks. Hero power based decks. Okay, go to just rid of the armor. Go with biggest buff each turn, I think. Oof. Oh, disgusting. Hmm, there's no way that I can get rid of the armor this turn. Whatever, it's just another bomb. Is that it? I guess there is a way, but it's not worth uh, dodging one bomb for it. Not that easy to gain armor each turn, I think. The next turn, it's the spin. Which means getting Divine Shield up on this is probably the best. Rally. Rally would get me the egg, a one drop, and something else. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Maybe? I'm afraid of Brawl. Oh well. There's an egg in there. Nice rally. Gain 5 armor, shuffle 1 bomb into your opponent's deck. Oh, 2 bombs. Improves during run. I guess it's a mystery how many. Oh, 3 bombs. Okay. Just gotta dodge all the bombs. Easy. Guess I'll just try not to draw cards or something like that. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't attack with that. Hmm. So I don't want to break this. I don't want to lose the divine. No, losing the divine shield. I think I'm going to need all the health I can get. Press the attack. Eh. This doesn't seem to matter that much. Yeah. 
<laughs> the good old bucket cards. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> ah, if I hadn't taken three. Maybe. I should have thought more about why he didn't swing at the death spite. It would have been for Gromish. Yeah. Mm, necrotic poison, or destroy a random enemy minion. Uh, those are both not that useful because my hero power basically negates their minions. I think I want the loyal henchman. Basically, the destroying minions doesn't make that much sense in a deck where their minions kind of suck anyways. So therefore, Loyal Henchman. I think that makes sense. Hand of a Doll, Shielded Minibot, Torellian. That's decent. I mean, it's gotta be this. I shouldn't think too hard about it, I think. Yet you lurk in the shadow. It's always a little scary doing a full mulligan, but I believe. After a friendly dragon dies, give your minions plus one plus one. Huh. Ah, it's you. My faith is my shield. Here for the tour. Yeah, that's a good Legion into Ooze. I wonder if that's ever shown up before. I think it has never happened, which is why I haven't thought about it. But it's like, yeah, that's a good setup. You wanted a paladin secret, right? Hmm. I said that I was going to try out all of the uh, duels hero powers. I lied. We're not going to try that one out. Actually, no, I will try that out. I could see some possibilities for it, I guess. Is that it? It's not necessarily worse than the basic Paladin hero power. Priest is the class with a bunch of buffs, so it's nice to just be able to generate a thing. And it has two health. It's kind of better than one health. I could see it. The competition is fierce, isn't it? I am beyond words. Let's see, that's a no. That is a... Well, it's not terrible. Dirigible is in my deck. Carousel Griffin. I don't really have a way to... So that's just a 5-5-5 five, five, five Divine Shield. Red Scale Dragon Tamer. Do I have any dragons in the deck? No. I'll go right. I've got that Lanessa, I guess. Got cards that want to stick around. The user was really good early, but uh, I think I need the tour guide to make that happen. 
Oof. I was gonna comment the last game. It's always very scary to mulligan all three cards, especially as your deck's getting worse and worse. But I think it's right. My hero of power definitely doesn't do anything if I don't have anything, which is kind of brutal. I guess I always have the loyal henchmen at least. They're always there for me. I think this is the first game where I haven't let off of the one drop. I imagine uh, my deck is a lot worse if I don't lead off of the one. Interesting. I got this. Job done. Yeah, I think I just have to hope it's not the <laughs> vapor ice. If it is, then. You know, just bad luck. Not my day. Oh, but man, what if it's Spellbender? Maybe I should Potion of Heroism. It's the half measure. Half measure. Hmm. Okay, it worked. Oh no. After a mini attacks your hero, summon a copy of its stealth. Hmm. Oh no! Armor made to fit. Low order? Unfortunately, nothing I can do about that. Oh no! What a pain. Whatever. The health pulls are too big now for a few bombs here and there to matter. Armor made to fit. Favorite racer is burning a hole in my pocket. I also don't want to set this thing to huge and then just have it get executed, but I feel like there's no real way around that. It's just something that this will do. But well, will be good, at least, in this game. The rest is going to be pretty sweet. 7 mana 9-9 nine, nine to Vine Shield. And draw a card. No answer to the cat is pretty sweet. That's lethal! The uh... Those two extra <laughs> secrets at the opening of the game really won it for me there. Oof. Left costs two less but not Less than one. I do have a pretty low curve. Goggles is pretty good. From the swamp is pretty good. Bunch of one ones that I can make three threes. That is a tough call. Yeah, swamp, I guess. It's like the card that you probably want to see with this. The goggles was also very good though. Okay, uh, three low cards. It's kind of what I'm looking for. So I don't get around that disaster of last game. Left. Yeah, I want to draw the minions early. Alright, we're back to classics. The good old first spell, double battle cry, Cthune. 
An oldie but a goodie. Excellent secrets. Oh man. Coin also? Thank you. Oh, three card plagiarized <laughs> on turn one. My thanks. Gross. Your two hands here. All right, school spirits. No, that's not even. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> nice. That's not bad. That's actually quite good. Oh. Well, yeah, let's just play that card. Three random blessings seems like a lot. Ooh. Eh, okay. Or seven seven, life steal. Oh, I don't get the dual cast of the life forge blessing. It's That's too bad. Oh, double battle cry! Dang. Yeah, that's gotta be right. I think I protect the seven three as much as possible. I wanted to save the broom. For as long as I could. But that would probably be too greedy. One, two, four, five, six. I should use the hero power, so one, two, three, four, six. Why do you As you command. Oh, cute little kill marks. Aw. Okay, I do have to kill that. This thing uh, is one of the cards that I cannot minimize, so to say. No. <laughs> Torellian. It's very in flavor. Yeah, maybe lethal. Yeah, use the hero power as a priority. Speak your peace. Bring out your dead. Nothing scares me. Except mine. Yeah. <laughs> 
So he'd be looking for Twisting Mother or something to hard remove everything, so I guess I might as well play nothing. Blessings. Meh, goody two shields. Blah. Karen Sylvanas Nazoth. Okay, maybe it's time for the endgame stuff. I do have a number of death rattle things. Professor Slate, this will be a battle, battle of wits. Four random blessings. That's uh that looks good. Also, this uh this slate is using the very old school, I believe it's the two damage plus one attack hero pair. The OG! Ooh. This time around my secrets sucked. I've had a good run of secrets. I wonder if I should... Buff and then trade or something else. Well, in this case, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, this is probably better than Goggles. <laughs> That's a lot better than Goggles. Mm. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Seems good. Not bad, not bad. Oh. Out of cards, so out of fuel, hopefully. Oh, wine. Oh well. Wine, wine, wine. don't have a way to remove that without taking damage. I'm thinking about if I have any way out. I don't think so. I'm assuming the Lanessa thing doesn't work. If it does, then... That would have been amazing. Would have been a good time to test it, I guess, just in case it did work. 
Didn't matter here. But yeah, I figured they wouldn't. Oh! Actually got aggroed down. Amazing. I think my four mana play was too slow. His uh, one mana killed my four mana guy was just too good. Yeah, I don't think the Locust is good in this deck, so it's either Archimage Staff or Grimmer Patron because the zombies get in the way. I also don't have that many weapons in the deck. Very close call. Alright, first day at school. Sungill. I like those two. Central... It's Carnival Barker. Meh. This is bad. I like the Protector, the Glass Knight. Meh. Do I want to play a 1 mana 1-1? One, one? Probably not. And do I want to play this card, or do I want to try to get something better? I think I try to get a 1-drop really badly, and then maybe find a better 2-drop or a 2-drop. It's a better 2-drop. Potential Book of Wonders can't be overloaded. Interesting. Oh no. It's in a raid. My thanks. Did you graduate with honors? No womp womp. Oh no. <laughs> Four mana seven seven. But what if it was a three three? was about to turn to his 7-7. Seven, seven. Gross. Oh no. Wait, isn't that better done the other order? Maybe? I wonder if they took this art from, uh... Starcraft. That's the Protoss ship, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. I have no time for games. Okay, have I had stuff from all the mana cost die so far? No. Hmm, that actually changed my play. Did I miss an attack with Sylvanas? Oops. It's very hard to see whether or not you can attack with those things, you see. Whenever you summon a one health minion, give it plus one, plus two. Oh, bad order. Something like that. <laughs> Low order.
Vroom, vroom. Not bad. Reasonable. have an answer for it. Unless? <laughs> Guess not. Assuming I have lethal, I'll test the Vanessa thing, which shouldn't work, but we'll see. Gift of Luminance is a card that's in my deck, although I'm not entirely sure if it should be. Immortal Prelate is a bad card. It keeps any enchantments. I think Hero Power is an enchantment. Let's go with the right side. Alright, finally an old school in the Hero Power. How invigorating. Will I get outvalued by good ol' get a hero power? Oh man, it's swamp versus swamp. Hmm. Interesting. Let me work my magic. Magical. But the game is rigged. My thanks. My hand is full. I think starting off strong is right here. This is a game that's all about keeping everything he has off the board, always. Something like that. Gotta kill that. Avoid him getting too much value, and maybe he'll run out of stuff. There are going to be a lot of zombos running around. That turn one rope was really important. I think uh, my decision on turn one will decide the game one way or the other. Or I mean, you know, I don't necessarily win, but... That's definitely the most important turn in the game. Oh, I forgot to play Carnival Barker first. <laughs> oh. Speak your peace. What are we doing here? Oh, 
got so many zombies. It's a 4 for zombie special in LR, 3 for... No, it's a 2 for 1. 2 zombies for the prize of 1. No, it's actually 3 zombies. <laughs> I guess it's not too bad. Uh, time to test for it. Oh no, I need to kill one of these first. And then test. Wait, no, it's right to trade and then... Test. It looks pointless, but it... Wait, maybe it is pointless. Is everything we do pointless? I don't know, it can't be bad. Wait, it's actually completely pointless. Guess I should trade into that. Hmm, nice anti tonk. So these trading will be pointless, I guess go face. That goes there. That goes there. This goes here. The board is clear, or something like that. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Aha, we over zomboed him. Like the only way to actually get some sort of advantage is to stick a big minion. I don't really understand why he didn't get a Zombo the first time, to be honest. I think I gotta kill the big thing here. <laughs> Why would you? Okay. Yeah. 
I still. Oh. Okay. Yeah, one four four a turn just isn't enough. So I think he is to kill these things. Swamp versus Swamp is pretty complicated. But that's pretty good. <laughs> I still actually don't really understand how this works. Something like, I get it, but I don't want to believe. I know trading 1-1s one ones and 1-1s one ones is pointless. And I know that... Having big stuff is key. And I know that when they have a full board, you want to trade your 1 1s in. Hmm. Definitely the first thing to kill. I have no time for games. Oh my god, I'm going to totally rope here. I have the general plan, but I have three need to hit something, but that was pretty minor. Just a one damage miss. Did I miss damage with Leopard Broom? I don't think so. I counted the damage, and I counted like plus two and wasn't enough, I think. <laughs> it's a slog through the swamp, that's for sure. What a silly game. Lethal, it's not explosive. I'll take the stab at it, yeah. I'm 
Stab, stab. <laughs> I did one damage! Get a little crusty. I don't think I made that many like useless trades. All the trades lessened the damage that was coming to me, I think. I admit, I've never gotten along with trolls. Okay. This is definitely turn one creeper, turn two hero power. Up against good ol' Ooh. It's swamp versus this. Oh, did I see he also has swamp. Oh my goodness. Swamp OP. Uh, let's see. Plagiarize the studies. He has rogue mage against I. Oh. I also want to get something out on the board. I guess coin first. I'm going to use all these cards. I'm just gonna have to deal with overdrawing a bunch of cards. It's fine. Just uh, play the best tempo play each round. My my play there was plus three plus one. It's better tempo than anything else. If we wanted cheap. I guess that's cheap. So this is plus two, plus two. Yeah, I just need to not worry about the uh, the overdraw thing. It's gonna happen. Just play whatever is best for tempo. Also probably killing that because it's scary. Maybe killing that's not essential. I forgot he was gonna start spawning zombies also. I might have forgotten. I don't think the spell damage matters that much. Isn't this scarier? What is scary? That's scary. So many zombies.
Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Maybe intentional? Well, delicious. I don't know if that is intentional. Also, missed the plus two spell damage. the burn. Make good plays. I didn't ditch class to get second place. Make it double. Okay, so two dual class cards in the hand. Banana, actually, good card. Second place for you, mage. Maybe. Lucky me that I just had training on Swamp v Swamp. It's a monster of a matchup. Vanessa gets to eat a banana. Delicious. Out of the board clears. Oh, I'm one off. I should definitely pyroblast to finish him off. The problem is that will just clear all my guys. I need to kill that. Ugh. I do need to kill that. Oh my god, that's actually coming up. That's dealing 12, 14, 16 damage. Yes. That needs to die also. Actually. I have no time for games. Oh. 
Oh, haven't seen that one before. Fancy. Oh, car. But all right, Archmage Staff, you did it. <laughs> I didn't think this would be useful, but it was. It's actually really funny. I wasn't paying attention to the opening screen, so I both don't know what the opponent is, and I don't know what the hero power is. It doesn't really matter here, though. But it's just a little bit funny. I'll keep the call to arms. That should be good, I think. It's a rogue. Okay, I guess they have weapons. we will just keep it all. Yeah, that's... Ooh. This hero power tends to have weapon buffers. The light protects me. Aha! Will he swing with that, or is he gonna wait? And then should I ooze? I think I have to ooze something better than that. It's only an Arcanite Reaper. We need to ooze the good stuff, not this chump change. Oh no, cutting class! Oh, oh my god. Well, he drew into it. He didn't have it the first time. Or maybe he did. And then he was saving it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Small misplay. Small misplay. It's fine. Well, now I'm definitely committed to not using that. I'll get the next weapon. There we go. Now's the time to lose. Unless I should have saved it one more turn. <laughs> I definitely should have used the first one. But anyways. Hopefully it doesn't have lethal? Wow. That's almost more despairing. Oh no. Oh no.
Oh no. Blood and plunder. Well done. Well done. Disaster. It was actually correct to wait on the ooze. I don't know about that. I think, no, it definitely should have oozed. I just forgot cutting class was a thing. <laughs> 